Have you ever pondered if the Bible, a sacred text revered by billions, might contain accounts of alien encounters? It's a question that challenges conventional wisdom, provoking a reconsideration of age-old narratives. Traditionally, the Bible has been viewed through a strictly religious lens. However, some interpretations suggest the possibility of extraterrestrial beings making their mark on these ancient scriptures. The evidence? Enigmatic passages and peculiar phenomenon that may not entirely fit the divine framework. So let us dive into the depths of this ancient text and explore the possibility of alien encounters in the Bible. Our first encounter takes us to the second book of Kings, where we find the prophet Elijah's departure from earth. In this ancient text, Elijah, a man of great faith and power, is said to have left this earthly realm in a chariot of fire drawn by horses of fire. This description alone is enough to ignite our imaginations, isn't it? A chariot of fire, horses of fire and a whirlwind taking him up to the heavens. An extraordinary sight, even by today's standards. Could this be a literal account of what happened? Or could it be a metaphorical depiction? A way for the ancients to describe something they had no words or concepts for? Could it be that what they witnessed was so far beyond their understanding that they could only describe it in terms of the most powerful and awe-inspiring things they knew? Fire, horses, chariots, these were symbols of power and speed in those times. Let's entertain the thought for a moment. Could this fiery chariot have been an advanced piece of technology, something not of this world, something extraterrestrial? Could the horses of fire be a description of the propulsion system, the flames and smoke that we associate with modern spacecraft launches? Perhaps the whirlwind was the turbulence created by the liftoff of this alien vehicle. The idea seems far-fetched, doesn't it? But remember, we're talking about an event that took place thousands of years ago, reported by people who had no concept of technology as we understand it today. They would have had no vocabulary to describe such a phenomenon, other than to liken it to things they were familiar with. A fiery chariot and horses may have been the closest approximation they could make to describe a spacecraft lifting off. So, was Elijah's fiery chariot a metaphorical depiction of an extraordinary event? Or was it a literal account of an ancient encounter with advanced extraterrestrial technology? The text leaves room for speculation, and it's up to us with our modern understanding to interpret what might have happened. Could this fiery chariot have been a spacecraft, a vehicle not of this world? A question to ponder indeed. Next, we venture into the book of Ezekiel, where a mysterious wheel in the sky is described. Ezekiel's wheel, as it is famously known, is no ordinary tale. It's a vision so profound, so mysterious and so bewildering that it has puzzled scholars and theologians for centuries. The prophet Ezekiel, in his own words, describes witnessing a heavenly apparition, a wheel within a wheel, a sight so otherworldly that it leaves one to wonder if it was a divine spectacle or an encounter of the third kind. Ezekiel recounts seeing four living creatures, each with the likeness of a man. These creatures, he goes on to describe, had four faces and four wings. Their legs were straight, their feet like that of a calf, gleaming like burnished bronze. Now, if we pause here for a moment, this description eerily mirrors the accounts of modern-day extraterrestrial encounters. Many who claim to have witnessed UFOs often describe them as being metallic, shiny, and having an otherworldly glow, much like Ezekiel's burnished bronze creatures. The prophet further describes this vision as a wheel intersecting another wheel, as if one were inside the other. These wheels, he explains, moved in any direction the creatures faced, without turning as they moved. In today's context, doesn't this sound strikingly similar to the maneuvering capabilities often attributed to UFOs? The ability to move without turning, to hover, to zip away at incredible speeds. It's an uncanny resemblance, isn't it? The passage in Ezekiel has been a source of endless debate and speculation. Some see it as a divine revelation, a glimpse into the celestial realm. Yet others, those who dare to question and look beyond the traditional interpretations, see it as a possible extraterrestrial encounter. The descriptions given by Ezekiel are so vivid, so detailed and so reminiscent of modern UFO sightings that one can't help but wonder. Could Ezekiel's wheel be an ancient description of a UFO? A craft from another world, another time? Finally, 
we arrive at one of the most famous accounts in the Bible, the ascension of Jesus into heaven. This event, chronicled extensively in religious texts, depicts Jesus being taken up into a cloud and vanishing from sight. Now, doesn't that description stir your curiosity? Here's a thought. What if this cloud was not a mere collection of water droplets suspended in the atmosphere, but something far more advanced? Could this cloud have been an alien spacecraft? A vehicle for interstellar travel, perhaps? The Ascension account is intriguingly similar to numerous modern-day reports of alien abductions. Individuals being lifted into the sky, disappearing into a bright light, or a cloud-like formation sounds familiar, doesn't it? Now, we're not suggesting that Jesus was an alien or that his teachings were of extraterrestrial origin. Far from it. We are merely exploring the possibility that the Ascension, an event of such significance, could have involved extraterrestrial elements. Could the heaven that Jesus ascended to have been a destination in outer space? Could the angels that were reported to have been present during the event have been extraterrestrial beings observing or even facilitating this ascension? Such hypotheses, while speculative, invite us to view these ancient accounts from a fresh perspective. They urge us to question, to wonder, to think beyond the conventional could the ascension have been an extraterrestrial event, a question that invites contemplation. So, have we been reading accounts of alien encounters in the Bible all along? Let's recap. We've journeyed through the biblical narratives of the fiery chariot of Elijah, Ezekiel's wheel, and the ascension of Jesus. Each tale, rich with its own unique details, could be interpreted as a possible encounter with extraterrestrial beings. However, it's crucial we remember that these interpretations are speculative, rooted in our 21st century understanding of the universe. The people of the biblical era did not have the same scientific knowledge we now possess. They may have described these events in the only terms they knew. This doesn't mean we should dismiss these theories. On the contrary, they encourage us to delve deeper, to question and to keep our minds open. These narratives, whether they're tales of divine intervention or potential alien encounters, broaden our perspectives. While the answers remain shrouded in mystery, the questions continue to intrigue, inviting us to explore the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding.